team at the University of Manchester School of Chemistry is working on a way to improve the catalysts and the synthesis of biologically active molecules. The Leonori Research Group is concentrating its effort on using light to power the search for new drugs. Uh, we are not uh, developing uh, new drugs, uh, but we are developing the tools uh, for uh, uh, people that work in medchem and drug discovery to explore more possibility and this uh, in future maybe will allow to maybe also have an impact, uh, impact on the society. The team is trying to develop new methodologies to start a chemical reaction. In the search to revolutionize synthetic chemistry, the members of the team have focused on light, abundant, affordable light. And especially more sustainable and cheaper ways to, to make these transformations. We are gonna accelerate the drug discovery and we, are, we can contribute to make, for example, uh, medicines or vaccines or anti-cancer, uh, drugs or something like that, uh, more cheaper. While other teams of scientists search for the next new drug in the fight against dehabilitating or deadly disease, the University of Manchester's Leonari Research Group is focusing its attention earlier in the process and working to be the spark to the new drug discovery by removing the biggest hurdle to the search, the cost. Uh, the ability to make molecules is obviously uh, easily and affordably and cheaply is a crucial part of what uh, pharmaceutical companies are always looking to improve. So the, the fact that we can maybe do some new transformations that were before impossible or before very difficult or expensive uh, can obviously dramatically reduce the cost to that sort of, those sort of procedures. The Manchester scientists know they're not the only ones looking for a more efficient, less expensive way to aid the drug discovery process. So their time is precious. Any advancement that can help them save time and money is a welcome addition to the laboratory. They say they've found one in the process for separation and purification. They've all experienced manually packing, filling, and processing columns. Now that process is done automatically. Okay, I, I cannot go back to the old way because, uh, yes, it's, uh, I think it's really better. It's just, it's easy to learn. It's not difficult to learn. It's very uh, user-friendly, the interface, let's say. And uh, once you, start, you learn how to use it, you don't want to go back. So in the end, it saves you a lot of time, just having to putting on the, putting on the pre-packed column Racking your stuff in, leaving it for 15 minutes, half an hour most, and then coming back later and it's done. It's a, a big time saver. Time, money, and solvent saved to be reapplied to the search for an inexpensive catalyst for chemical reactions.